it's a typical it's a typical August bank holiday Monday the sun's gone on holiday and we've got grey skies and drizzle but look my scarecrow's happy down at my allotment and I'm just now digging up the last of my potatoes I've already dug quite a few reds and whites and this is the last lot and I was thinking that because this plot here of potatoes has extraordinarily long foliage that the crop of actual potatoes wouldn't be too good but so far uh, from about two or three plants I've managed to get that many and I think if my labeling is right that these are Cara potatoes but you never know I might be wrong um, what do I do after the soil well I'd like to put onions in here and I've bought them already, Japanese onions, brown ones, uh, or white ones, and a mix of onions as well, which you can put in from October onwards, and come uh, the spring, late spring, they'll be doing rather well. Um, there's my fence to keep out the muntjac, and it does rather a good job, because in there I've got my squashes, my marrows, and there's some sweet corn growing and of course the muntjac if they get in there they'll devour the lot I have had very bad caterpillar infestation this year and I haven't been able to use any spray because I don't want the plants to be affected if they survive and I'm going to eat them so I've just been going around squashing them with either my fingers or my hands in gloves and I must have killed, quite literally, not just from these plants, but others, um, about 200, two, 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 200, 300 altogether. Um, and some of them I get live and feed to the frogs in the pond. There's my apple tree, doing rather well. That apple tree was there when I took over this plot about a year ago, and it wasn't doing very well. And I think, once again, the trunk had been attacked by Munjak, so I've guarded the trunk of the tree with chicken wire and the crop looks quite good. I have thinned them out, but perhaps I need to thin them out even more at this late stage.